Hey everybody, it's Gumpla Millie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to give you guys a kind of update on my room. I know you guys saw on my last video I posted that my background looks slightly different and I kind of wanted to give you guys a little breakdown on what I used, how much it ended up costing me, um, my plans for the future because it's still not done. Um, so yeah, I kind of just want to get into that all with you guys today because I got a lot of questions on my Instagram and comments on my last video about this. So yeah, let me get started into today's video. All right, so starting off, I want to just go over briefly kind of the breakdown to the room that I have going on back here. So I previously used to own Ikea Detolfs, Detolfs, how are you going to pronounce them? And they did the job fine. I'm not saying that they're bad if you have them. You're happy with them that's great i had them for years i'm like i mean years i had them my biggest problem with them is the fact that they are very um what's the word the depth they're very deep and so they kind of take up a lot of space in my room and this room isn't the biggest room that i have so i kind of before i continue with the rest of today's video i want to give a big big thank you to fx creations for sponsoring today's video now hold on don't skip just yet because this stuff is actually really awesome and I'm excited to show you guys the products they've sent me. They have sent me their brand new official Gundam Seed collaboration. Now let me show you guys the bags of clothes. First one I wanna show y'all is this amazing backpack. Not only does it look super cool, it has a ton of capacity. What's really cool about this is that this backpack has an AGS suspension system. It's a stainless steel rebound core that absorbs downward impact and creates upward rebound force. The bag has a side zipper compartment which allows you to retrieve your stuff easily on the walk. It has a 17 inch computer compartment and a 15 inch tablet compartment. I really love how subtle the Gundam logos on this bag are and their placements. I love this crossbody bag. It comes with lots of compartments which gives you so much space to store all your items. Just take a look at all of them. I was able to fit my Nintendo Switch, my Pro Remote, some pencils, a battery pack, basically everything I own. And it even has a space to hold an umbrella at the bottom. Lastly, here's the awesome card case that's made of metal. It has a large capacity that holds at least 15 cards inside and has a nice big clip. And make sure you use my code MELODY to save yourself 10% off your total order. I'm going to have all the information down in the description below. Again, a big thank you to FX Creations for sponsoring today's video. And let's get back to the video. You know, I wanted something a little bit more narrow. And so because of their depth, I would lose so much kind of space in the back. And I had to use, you know, multiple risers to kind of be able to fit so much. Because if I just would cram all the gumpel in there, it would, you wouldn't be able to see anything in the back or the middle. Because they are pretty deep, in my opinion. And then not only that, is the shelving is not customizable. So they come in standard si uh, sizes between each shelf. And you can't budge them because it's like they sit on these little metal racks. So how they come is how they are. So you do lose some, you do lose some space in between each shelf, some some room that you know you can't really change out compared to my current setup. I could place these shelves however I want to and change the height, doesn't matter. Now my other issue with the IKEA Del Top D Top is that they're kind of short. Like they're pretty short. So I wanted something that I could that I could put up much higher because this room has significantly high walls and even in a regular house that has shorter walls i don't know what the standard is eight feet nine feet walls um and here is massive i don't even know how big th these walls are i mean to the ceiling they're huge but um i wanted something to be taller so i can fit in more kits because obviously i have quite the collection going on and way more in my backlog as you guys will see so i need something that i that can accommodate a ton of models so I was doing some research and I watched a lot of videos on YouTube, different options, and um, I stumbled across the IKEA Billy bookcase. And I was just like kind of iffy about it, honestly. I do like IKEA, I love IKEA stuff, but I didn't really like the fronts. Now I wanted doors because Basler will come in here 
and he does multiple times already will come in here and start sniffing and knock over a bunch of models and, he, and I can't have to come back in here and put him up um, which is really annoying I try not to let him in here but you know as you saw earlier he was in here because if I don't he's gonna start crying and screaming I digress so I need doors to protect them these guys and I also to help with the dust right I don't like dusting it's just too much stuff going on so at first I was looking at these and I was just like the yeah, Billy bookcase and uh, I didn't like the doors so they were kind of on my back burner and then Ikea came out with some new doors I think they're called the Hogsbow Hogbow I'll put all the information in this video so you guys can see everything that I got so the Ikea Hogsbow door which as you guys can see there are no doors on these shelves right now Sadly, my dad was gonna help me. He was gonna come up here. We were gonna anchor these guys to the wall because the doors are heavy, and I'm very paranoid that once I install the doors, it's gonna come tumbling on top of me. And um, those doors are glass, so it, they're heavy. So I'm just worried about these things toppling forward. No doors yet. So um, the doors that I saw from IKEA, I'll put a little picture up here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. They have a very, very thin, thin, thin metal frame, and I just think it looks gorgeous. It's not gonna detract from space. You know, some doors like the width would be about like that big, if not wider, because of much wider frame on the outside. And I didn't want that. I don't like the way that looks. So when I saw these metal doors, and I was like, oh, that's it. That's perfect. Immediately, I was like, that's that's what I want right there. Another thing too about the Billy bookcase, which is pretty neat, is that as you guys can see, there's glass shelving. So you don't have to put glass if you don't like glass. I did it because I do think it's a cleaner look. It allows light to go from the top to the bottom easier. Um, I do not have uh, LEDs for these bookcases. I just reused the ones that I had on my previous displays. So I kind of have to had to work around that. I really didn't feel like soldering new LEDs. Um, last time I tried that, <laughs> I didn't do such a good job. It burnt my fingertips multiple times. So I didn't want to go through the hassle of rewiring a bunch of LEDs again. Didn't want to do that. So I was like, okay, I want to make it work where I can just reuse my old ones. And that's what I did here. Glass shelving helped out because I didn't have enough LEDs to be able to light up every single shelf because these are very wide compared compared to the IKEA Detolfs. These are much, much wider. I mean, like significantly wider. So I kind of, you know, had to work around that. And um, another tidbit about the glass or another pro for the glass is that the uh, wooden, you can see there in the middle, there's one wood in the middle. It has to be there. It's for, I guess, support or whatever. But uh, they're thick. I mean thick. So it'll take up space that you can put models in there because of how thick that is. So the glass kind of saves more on space as well to be able to cram in more, you know, taller models and stuff like that. So that's another reason why I decided to go with the glass. Um, the one downside with glass is that you have to buy them additionally and they're quite expensive, especially for the larger um, Billy bookcase. You see I have one small one right there. Those are cheaper. I think they were either $14. These are $20 a shelf. And you need multiple shelves. <laughs> so I believe there you need we need four glass shelves per Billy bookcase. So it adds up pretty quick. It's more expensive for the shelving than it is for the actual bookcase bookcase, which is pretty funny. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. So you're gonna spend some money on the shelving versus the actual bookcase. And um that's it, that's about it for the shelves. And also in terms of building the building the Billy bookcase, I did them all myself. It's super easy, not hard at all to build these guys. So if you're worried about, oh gosh, I care furniture, it's annoying to build. These are super, super simple. I did all of them in one day. So not difficult at all. And they're really light to move around. So I wouldn't worry about if you're, they're gonna be too heavy for you now. I did, I moved all of this in here myself. All in all, I wanna say that this wasn't exactly cheap to set this up but i honestly think that it wasn't super expensive considering that each deltoff display at ikea right now costs 130 dollars brand new and i would need you know i had 10 of those cases in here to fit all my models so these each bookcase i think they're priced at 69 dollars right now at ikea 
Uh, the shelving is $20 a piece for the glass. Again, you will save a decent amount of money if you don't do glass. LEDs, I reused, so I saved money on that. Same thing with the like channel diffusers, whatever they're called. I reused those, didn't have to spend money on that. So total cost, I wanna say was close to, it was like 1100, yeah, about 1100 for this whole wall setup. Now I did realize as I finished this, I was like, man, I should do another bookcase <laughs> because the I feel like I'm already kind of running out of space in here and um, I should have gotten one more. So my plan is that I'm going to move this, this big guy right here over to this wall that's empty right now or somewhat empty. And I'm going to move this little one, little shelf at a kind of angle. Ikea actually sells uh, these metal brackets if you want to do a corner setup and that's exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm going to add one more of the big bookcases against the wall. It's going to fit perfectly right here. So that's going to help alleviate a lot more space that I can have. I'm going to show you guys my backlog and you guys can see how much I have left. Um, and kits that I built that I have in process for doing reviews in the future. So there's a lot of models that I have yet to go up there. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna do one more case. And I'm actually selling this guy, not this one, not the 120, not the 112. I love him. I'm selling the 124th just because I feel like it's just too big. It takes up way too much space that I can use for the rest of my models. So unfortunately, I'm I'm just thinking I'm going to put them up for sale. So I am going to be listing him for sale, probably on eBay and maybe some Facebook groups. And um, yeah, he's going to go up for sale. So if anyone is interested out there, send me a message to my email at gumplamilly at gmail.com. Don't lowball me. These guys are not exactly cheap. So, and he's already built. So yeah, if you're interested in only North America too, because shipping international for this guy would be an arm and a leg, a kidney. So uh, I'm only doing North America just because I know shipping would be several hundred dollars because he's heavy. I mean, this guy weighs a significant amount. Uh, anyways, so that's my plan. Now let me show you guys a little up close tour and personal of my Gundam room. I'm so happy with how it's coming out. I literally come in here and I just turn my lights on and I just kind of stare and I hang out in here because it's like so kind of cool to just I don't know how to explain it. I turn the lights off and I just sit in here and I just like, like I did this, I did all of this. This is all my hard work on display. Years and years and years of building and my hobby. And it's just kind of cool to sit here and like look back and I love the way it looks. So definitely I'm super happy with how it came out. So now let me show you guys my room and I will, don't worry, I'm, I'm gonna have the whole breakdown. I'll try to make like a cute little picture at the end so you guys see exactly what I use, all the parts, the prices, and then maybe that can help you guys set up your own display. So this is the difference now. This is still a work in progress. This is a little desk I use when I build. I wanna build while I watch anime and TV or something, so I use that thing. Um, my trash can, which is, you know, uh, holding up my router and internet stuff right now because it used to be on my display cases and yeah, I, work in progress guys, don't judge me, work in progress. Here is one door that I was actually gonna put on as you guys can see, the very thin frame. And then I, when I realized I was like, oh wow, this is significantly heavy with just one door. So I just left it here till, you know, they're gonna go up. Um, yeah, like I said, this is, I gotta, um, I'm work in progress, okay, I hate this, but I'm, you know, I'm gonna figure out how to move everything up there, like I had before, so you don't see these ugly cables, but, I mean, my space opened up significantly, like, the old cases would come out to be, like, maybe here, like, very far off the wall, so the room feels so much bigger than how it used to be. Maybe, I don't know if it's going to reflect in the video, but when in person, it's a significant change. So this is the current setup. Um, they, are, they actually sell, which I forgot to tell you guys earlier, extensions to the bookcases, which I was thinking of getting, but they don't have the door for the, the extensions yet. So I was like, you know, I want to save my money for now because I want the door for the extension as well. They sell like these little doors. So I'm just gonna hold off on getting extensions for now. I still feel like there's 
you know, it, they're still really tall. They're still really tall even without the extension. So I put all the mega sizes up there. That's the helmet that my sister printed me. And so that's what it looks like right now up top. A little bit of messy, but I just got to figure out, you know, how I'm going to fix all that. So as you guys can see here, this is, there is an annoying space there. So I actually have been watching some videos on YouTube on how to correct that. And I bought these like, they're not nails, rivets. I don't know what they're called, but I have to drill through here. And it's going to push this together and make it completely seamless. So that's the next thing that I have planned. As you guys can see, the LEDs aren't perfect again because I reused the ones I had in my previous display and they were cut precisely to fit the IKEA Detolf, Deltolf. Obviously not this humongous cabinet. So I really didn't want to buy new uh, channels because that'd be like another $80 and I'm on a budget here. Okay, I'm on a budget. I'll make it work with what I got. So I just ended up kind of trying to place it as close together as possible. I know in the future I'm going to definitely plan on just having one channel go from end to end to make it look much nicer. But that's for the future, not for now. Um, okay, so here, as you guys can see, still working out here, going, I need to hide these wires. But I have an idea. I just haven't, you know, quite figured it out just yet. Um, to hide the wires running up, I reuse some of this, um, this is like the plastic that goes on top of the diffuser. So I just did that on the sides. So it kind of hides the wires going in between each shelf, if that makes sense. Um, so right now, that's pretty much the idea I have. If you guys have a better idea on how to manage these wires, let me know because I'm still, I'm still figuring stuff out here. I'm still figuring things out. Anyways, so here's another bookcase. Now everything is kind of out of order, I know, um, because I kind of just took everything down and put them all up in the bookcase quickly because Bowser kept coming in here and kept coming in here and like destroying everything. So I had to just quickly build and just shove everything in there. So my plan is to organize by series. Let me know if you guys think that's a good idea. I'm still kind of debating on how I want to set these guys up. But here's some of my perfect grades. But overall, I'm like super, super pleased with how everything's coming out. And here's a little bookcase. And the giant one, as you can see, takes up literally half the bookcase. Half. Which is why I'm, th you know, just thinking about maybe I should just sell him because, you know, it is a, he just, he does take up a significant amount of space. And here's the big guy, which again, I'm going to put this at an angle like that and then do one more, which will fit precisely right flush against this wall. And then this guy will probably go maybe right here. All right. So now let me show you guys the rest of the room. Here is my work area. There's a bunch of models down there because again, I'm not running out of space here. And here's my little workbench slash desk it's currently a kit i am building i absolutely love these guys i think they're so cute if we get this to focus okay you're not gonna focus for me oh there you go see it's a blowfish it's so adorable there's some frog ones and there's a shark one i think there's a panda one i want all of them there's some tools i got there this is where the magic happens and some more models I'm working on. And here is my shelf of like kits I've already built that I am currently in progress to do videos on. And then here is my backlog, decent amount. Um, I'm gonna get to this eventually. Eventually, that's my tripod. There's like some more accessories, random parts, things like that. I'm still kind of work on I'm trying to work on how to work best organize all this stuff um here are my treasured anime cells if you guys haven't seen before i have six of them i absolutely love them i think they're really cool and my closet so this is where i keep majority of the backlog and more parts and accessories 
so yeah this closet's pretty maxed out i'm still trying to work on maybe there's a better way to kind of organize everything i don't know it's kind of overwhelming sometimes but i'm making good progress guys i'm making good progress here i just keep a bunch of leftover parts i put them in baggies and then i try to like organize them right here so these are all high grades masters are at the bottom and then just more parts everywhere um here this this side i just kind of keep my tools so here's my like sanding papers and things like that and things for my dioramas so yeah that's pretty much it in terms of my room tour down there there's more gundams as well that giant plastic tote is full of gundams um but yeah that is it for the room tour all right so that's it for the room tour i hope i i'm trying to not make this video so long so it wouldn't be super boring but i hope it helps some of you guys out there because i know for me i watched a lot of different videos on kind of display setups for model kits there's like one that's a lego one in particular that kind of really was like oh that looks so nice i want to do it especially in the white color i was very indecisive between getting white or black because i really like the way the black looks i feel like it makes the models pop but but it was way more expensive for some reason at ikea and the dust i knew the dust was going to be an issue so I was like, and, and I feel like black makes this black, I mean, black furniture makes spaces look smaller because they're dark. So I was just like, you know what? Even though I'm really not a fan of white, I'm going to go with the white. And honestly, I don't regret my decision at all just because I feel like it looks so open and like inviting in here with the white cabinets. And I, I'm just very pleased I went with white and I didn't um, go with black because my gut was saying, go with the black go with the black you know you don't like white you know you don't and i'm just like no i'm happy i got the white because dusting the black will show any speck of dust and that would irritate me so it's i know it would be much more difficult to maintain black than white yeah i really don't have anything else to say so if you stuck around to the very end thank you for watching the whole video hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you around for the next one adios And I want to give a big thank you to all the people over my Patreon who support my channel, especially my gold tier members who are Chris Wright and Michael Lyons, my silver tier, just the gunsmith, Rico Stealth, and all my ultimate fans who are Hassan Boz, Irvin, Jebito On, and William Tony. Thank you guys for all the support.